What is the name of the Sahabi who resembles Prophet Muhammad? You need to give me the name of the Sahabi that resembles Prophet Muhammad. So I'm like, come and welcome to our program. No, the shoulders and the thighs, it has already gone. But I have a question here for you, right? No, you go on too. What was the name of the Sahabi who resembled, who resembled the Prophet Muhammad? The name of the Sahabi who resembled the Prophet Muhammad. You need to give me that name. The name of the Sahabi that resembled the Prophet Muhammad. Assalamu alaikum and welcome to our program. No, the prophet time and things to be following the prophet. Right? Prophet Isa wasn't in the prophet time. He was before. So you need to give me the name of the Sahabi who resembled Prophet Muhammad. You need to do that for me, inshallah. Yes, so you need to give me the name of the Sahabi who resembled Prophet Muhammad. In a particular Sahabi who resembled Prophet Muhammad. And you need to give me his name. His name. And quickly, as we come in on the finishing time, name will be the Sahabi who resembled Prophet Muhammad. One of his companions, you, you resemble Prophet Muhammad very, very much, and you need to give him the name of that companion. Let's see what Aladdin has for us. Assalamu alaikum and welcome to our program. Abu Huraira. He is close to the Prophet, but not resemble the Prophet. Abu Huraira was very close to the Prophet. And yet, for all, we need to know the person that. The Sahabi that who resembled the Prophet very much. Salaam alaikum wa rahmatullah. Who is that? Hazrat Ali. Ali? No. That was his son, son in law. But he didn't, he didn't resemble. And the cousin of the Prophet too. But we talked about this. Let's see what we have here. Salaam alaikum. Hazrat? No, no, Musa wasn't in the time of the Prophet Muhammad. The people who used to follow the Prophet is considered to be his companion. One of them resembled him very much. Salaam alaikum. Sorry to point out. Iwa bin Poor started in 1991 in the market for your low cost. Grocery, confectionery, and haberdashery. Telephone 339 or 191 or 335 All low cost grocery items. And remember, we are situated, used to be the world in the market. So, welcome to our program. Abu Bakr City, no. Not Abu Bakr Sidi. Yes, you need to give me the companion of our Sahabi of the Prophet who resembled him very much, and you need to do that for me as we come down to finish in time. As we come in on to finish in time. Salaam alaikum and welcome to our program. Abdullah, not Abdullah. So we have this question going to see that the companion that is the Prophet. Very much. Let's see what we have here. We need to know the name of the company. Salaam alaikum and welcome to our program. Abdul Rahim, not Abdul Rahim. Call him as Pato. The grocer of number six, as of 51 on the center nine market, you can check him out or you can call him his number 335 for all your grocery products. Stall 
Dubai, nuna sentimen lagi patut nuna sekolin. Assalamualaikum dan welcome to our program. Umar, Umar. The last one is Umir, but tell me the first something being Umir. What is the first thing? If you can do that, we give you a beautiful glass. You in particular. Something being Umir. What is that? What is first name? You want to make a try or you want to call back? Call back. You call back. What's your number? Oh, 11. Oh, that was so when she called out. So. Yes. Who was the name of the Sahabi who resembled Prophet Muhammad? As we come in at the finishing time, how much questions we can meet you? Something. Let's see what we have here. What was the name of the Sahabi who resembled Prophet Muhammad? And I think I'll give you the. You just need to give me the first name. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Hello, I'm Musa bin Umair. Musa bin Umair. And we have a beautiful t-shirt for you, right? Alhamdulillah. We have a beautiful coming to you with Moe's Sanela Plus. This is for you. Thank you very much. Okay. Uh, Assalamu alaikum. Yes, Musa bin Umair is the company, the Sahabi resemble the Prophet very much. I think we have any more to go. Now, this is an optional question. This may, this may be our last question. The sword of Abdul Muttalib was called A. Zulfikar, B. Zunnun, C. Khalid, or D. Achan. Remember the sword of Abdul Muttalib, the grandfather of the Prophet, was called. And we give four options. You ought to tell us which one is correct. Zulfikar, that is the name of the Prophet's sword. That was the name of the Prophet's sword. And that is what completes in sponsorship. Sean Ashraf Ali and D. We have Suhail and Shahid. Salaam alaikum to you. Salaam alaikum and welcome to our program. C, that's Khalid, Khalid. No. The sword of Abdul Mutali was called Zulfika. We are A Zulfikar, B Zunun, C Khalid, D at Shan. Which one of the four? The sword of Abdul Mutali, the grandfather of the Prophet was called. D, what's that? Uh, B. B? Yes. Yeah. Zunun? Mm -hmm. No. What's your name? Uh, Ar Ar what is your name? Ar Abrar. Abrar? Mm -hmm. Your number is not sure. No one here. It, she was on the call now. No, you are not correct. So that's the that reason why I ask you. Yeah, but the answer is Achan. Achan. It's not Zulfikar. It's not Zunun. It is not Khalid. Three persons already said those. So it has to be Achan. And uh, this has uh, brought us to the end of our program. But before we take our leave, we want to continue to... We want to continue to... We want to continue to encourage you to be good citizens by doing the good things, by following the commandments of God Almighty. For those people who do not do that, have a confusion. And we want peace, and we don't want pieces. So we can only attain peace by through submission to God Almighty. In submissive to God Almighty and His law. I am your student, saying, Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah, and see you next week for more Islamic quests.